got a big delivery later. I need your help with it, lovey. Oh, lots of people need forgiving today. Yeah, well, maybe they're just flowers. There's always a reason, honey. They're never just flowers. <laughs> Here we come, sweetie. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's go in then, you. Right, well, give them then. Are you okay? Obviously. Okay, well, these are from Ben, and he says he's really sorry, and then it will never, ever yeah, happen again. Yeah, that's great, thanks. This guy must really like you, eh? Yeah, well, thanks. Maybe see you tomorrow? Maybe. so sure of anything in my life. Well, go on. I was thinking. Oh my God. Your flowers got a bit mushed. I'm sorry. Can I take a look? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Is it, is it broken? Oh, it's bad, it's bad. It, it's not bad, it's fine. Um, do you want to come in and we'll get you cleaned up and stuff? Yeah. Keep your head tilted back. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, anyway, um, I should probably get back. Tilda will be worried, so. Tilda? Oh, my boss from from the florist. Okay. Are you doing anything tonight? Did you know that in Japan, peonies represent bravery and prosperity, but in England we give them as a sign of good luck? I didn't know that. 
These remind me of my grandparents. They used to grow them in their garden. They're my favorite. Tilda told me that they're associated with kindness. Like the shop? Oh. Yeah. She sounded like a lovely girl. Better get that nose sorted though. It's Ooh. fine, but I will. Look one, man. You're not Freya. No, I'm not. And you are? Also, you're early. <laughs> This is Ben, my ex. Boyfriend. Ben, this is... Just the florist. Ben's just here to collect his stuff. Okay, good. Well, um, it's probably... Got What's this for? What's this about? Sorry. Otto delivers the flowers that you send me. Every day. I got you those. What are you talking about, babe? Don't call me that. Um, can I... Babe, I sent you one bouquet of overpriced roses, but none since because you stopped returning my calls. Yeah, because I didn't want to speak to you. And well, I, I mean, you've got to cut me a break if I'm trying to communicate. Do it. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start an argument between you. Mate, you're fine. I'm really sorry. Do you want to come in for a cup of tea? You must be exhausted from cycling around all day, and I bet your pay is shite. Also, literally just said these No. Um, tea sounds great. I'd love to. Oh. Busy day, Otto? Yeah, guess so. Quite busy. I mean, it's a flower delivery service. How busy could it be? Right, I'm going to put the kettle on. Earl Grey, please. No milk, no sugar. You, Otto? Earl Grey, please. Just one sugar. Okay. Thank you. Earl Grey. Man of class. Man of taste. Nice. Yeah. You one of those nighttime tea people? Good for sleep, I hear. Not for me, though. I tend to work through the night. Well, the stock markets in the other countries are still operating, so you need to be on top of my game. No time for sleep in an industry as demanding as mine. <laughs> but I can't really see that being an issue for you. No. I tend to work through the day. Yeah. Usually in the morning, so that the flowers are still fresh. Yeah, I can't so. really see much about you at all, to be honest. What do you mean? What, why would you say that? Well, I mean, look at me. And then, look at you. See you. Perfect, just what I needed. Thank you. You go, Otto. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Oh. Excuse me. Um, what are you doing today, Otto? A few deliveries. Yeah, my train's in a few hours, so I might stick around here if that's all right. Or walk. Oh my God, do you remember Jasper's party? You had to walk from yours because no one would let you into an Uber. <laughs> It was so embarrassing. She was smashed. It took us like an hour. Well, I'm sorry. I have to go. I'll let you out. Freya. You might not want these today. You might not want these tomorrow. But the truth is, I'm going to be standing on your doorstep every morning with a new bouquet of flowers until you do. Because, well, 